Hello everyone and welcome to my house. So hola everyone, welcome to mi casa. Come on in. Hello, finally a house tour. I have been waiting my whole life to do this. So I have been so excited to finally do this video. I knew I wanted to do a house tour video. Those are like my favorite videos ever to watch and I have been so excited to show you guys my house. We've been moved in for a month and the house is not completely done yet. I wanna do an updated house tour in the future, but I just wanted to show you guys the house so you could get an idea and you can see how we've been living. We have all of our furniture in, we just don't have our decor in and we also have a couple of bedrooms that aren't done yet. I know my master bedroom isn't done yet. So be sure to be on the lookout for my next house tour when everything will be completely done. I'm just so excited to show you guys my house. Ah. All right, let's just start where we are. You guys just walked in at my entryway. It's small, she's not done yet. I don't really know how I wanna do her yet. We just have a little bench and a mirror and stuff. I don't know what to do yet, there. But anyway, this is my formal living room. This is the comfiest couch ever of life. Like you will fall asleep if you fall, sit in this couch. I will fall asleep because I'm running out like five hours of sleep right now. But like, this is the comfiest couch. It is called the Cloud. This is Mickey and I's favorite couch in the house, but This is Mickey Nye's favorite couch in the entire house. She was expensive and she's bright white, which is why she's in the formal living room because I don't want her to get messy and I want her to stay nice. We have this beautiful bouquet of roses that I got from BoxyCharm. They sent this to me on my birthday. These roses smell so nice and when you walk into the house, you just smell the roses and it's like it's everything. I definitely want to add some side chairs in the future and a little bit more decor. But for now, this is my formal living room. I'm obsessed with it. I love it so much. And over here, I have a floor mirror for all my posing and outfit of the days. I love accenting the house with mirrors. I just think it makes it feel so open and nice. And so this is my little <laughs> floor mirror where I pose and pussy stunt on everyone. And over here, we have Mickey's little coffee bar. He loves coffee and I don't drink coffee because I don't drink caffeine and I just am not a big fan of sugar. You know me, I'm all organic and healthy and skinny. But I do have a coffee bar for guests when they visit, or Mickey, and it has this really nice curing machine that makes lattes with milk, and we got our mugs, we got our coffee here, got our little Starbucks syrups. It's literally a full-fledged Starbucks at my house. So this is my little coffee bar. In these little drawers are full of candles. Mickey and I have a problem with candles. Like, you'll see our Instagram stories. We're always buying candles every time we go to Marshalls or TJ Maxx, and we always come back with at least five, so. Here's my bookshelves. I don't even want you to look at them because they are not decorated. I don't know what to do. I just had extra pieces of decor from my old bedrooms and my old house and stuff that I just brought and put through in there for them to be something in there, but I don't really like them. I also want to paint the cabinets black and the this wood part white. So that'll be in the future. Over here is my dining room. This is like just the heart of the home, the kitchen and dining room, I feel like it's so pretty. I'm obsessed with it. We got this table and chairs from Arjas, and um, I'm not in love with the metal, gold metal, because I feel like it doesn't match everything, but she's still a statement, and this was our most expensive piece of furniture, so enjoy her. <laughs> she is solid wood, and then I also put up two more mirrors on each side. I just love how it makes it feel open, and this is just so nice to have when I have my family over for dinner and I love cooking and then I love entertaining and just having people over. This dining table is everything. I should have probably set her, but I guess we'll save that for the official house tour. But moving on over here, we have my kitchen. Ah, uh, I love this kitchen so much. I like to keep it minimal. I like to keep it simple so we know we have a little candle over here in this marble thing that's actually for, this is for utensils, but I put a candle in there. This whole kitchen smells like vanilla bean and cupcakes and it smells so good. And I got my paper towels. I have my KitchenAid stand mixer for baking. Love that for baking. Over here, I have my Google Home and knives. I like keeping it tucked back there because when you walk into the kitchen, it just feels nice and clean and minimal, which is what I love. In here is my gorgeous fridge. <laughs> Do you want to take the pizza out for this? Mickey always got to ruin it. 
Two things Mickey does. Doesn't keep things organized and cleaned and picked up and then also leaves the toilet seat open. And sometimes doesn't flush. Sorry, Mickey. <laughs> oh boy, okay. <laughs> I flush every time. That's your gross ass this that doesn't flush. No, I actually, when I was prepping this house for the house tour, that toilet needed to be flushed and that toilet needed to be flushed. It's not for me. That was you. <laughs> that was all you. Um, Just show the fridge. But anyway. I am so proud. I love having everything organized. We have our little San Pellegrinos here. We love sparkling water. I have my Kavitas in case I feel like I'm getting sick, which is kind of every day. I also like to have one of these at least once a day because it just, I feel like, keeps me healthy. Probiotics are good, children. Have your probiotics. Then we have our waters here. Hummus. I have peppers that I like to just cut up and I'll eat those. Hummus. We have Mickey's coffee up here we get these from costco we have some more we have some laquas up here we love sparkling water it's just our favorite thing over here we have our bread we got bagels we got this bread which is actually everything for avocado toast i'm so happy mickey picked that up and we have hummus eggs stuff like that here we have our fruit here we have our veggies here we have takeout and then but in this store we usually keep cheese and just other stuff Dairy products, syrup, salad dressings, more drinks there, our dog food here, and just, yeah, this is my fridge. Love having her organized. But girl, if you thought she was organized, let me show you my pantry. Now, our pantry is very small. This kitchen's actually pretty small in general. I feel like it's good size for two people, and I can still cook pretty well in it. But the pantry and cabinet space is limited, so I went hand with the organization on this. You know I didn't mind. I love having things organized, but... Here's my organized pantry inspired by Khloe Kardashian. Hey girl. But here we just have snacks. I keep, you know, chips. I keep our muffins, which I've eaten them all. You've eaten that full bucket. I know. I and I've eaten all the love cookies. Muffins. We have snacks down here. Over here, I keep our cereal. I have oatmeal. I have our kind bars. Just different little snacks and stuff. I'm not gonna go too in depth. Up there we have dog food. There we have more snacks. But that's our pantry. Now, moving on, we have a replica of myself, a statue of myself. Had this specially made and imported from Italy. Just kidding. <laughs> Over here, we have our bar stools. And actually, these look just like the slope chairs from West Elm, but we got them. I don't even know what it's called. I think at home for like 50 bucks. Such a steal. Really thriving in that department. But another really cool part I just love about this house that I added is that I can completely control my lights from my phone. It is a smart home, dear. I can change the lighting here. I can change the lighting over here. It just looks white. Change it to a cool color, like pink or something. Okay, I'll change it to blue. But anyway, I can change the lighting from my phone. Super cool. Now over here is the formal family living room, I like to call it, because both of these rooms are just so pretty and we do most of our hanging out in the basement, which you'll see in a minute. We have these beautiful concrete tables, this other couch from Living Spaces. We tried to get something that would replicate the cloud that wasn't $15,000. So we found these from Living Spaces. Huge shout out to James Charles because he kind of gave away that cheat. He was like, I got this couch that looks just like the cloud from Living Spaces. So I was like, okay, girl. And so I got this sectional. And over here we have our beautiful fireplace, which is so nice in the winter. We just turn this on and cozy up on the couch. Our TV, a little mantle, which I have filled with a bunch of plants. I love gardening. I'm such a gardener. I'm totally kidding. These plants are actually dying because I haven't watered them in weeks. I just started but... watering them because I felt bad for them. Let's look at this one. I felt bad for it, so I was like, I should feed it some water. <laughs> I'm so bad at gardening. I just, I don't know whatever reason. It just doesn't intrigue me. So we kept the plant life minimal over here, but I did want a little bit of plant life. Down the hallway, we will pussy stunt our way down. We have our guest bathroom. Um, I actually hate this bathroom with everything inside of me. I think it's so hideous. This actually used to be marble and then they switched it to this hideous tile. I have no idea. So I've been trying to figure out how I'm going to tie this all together and accent it. I think I'm going to paint the room. But TBD, this bathroom is just, I don't know what to do with it. But this is the guest bathroom. Hi, Daddy. She's kind of cute though on this side. Just the shower is kind of hideous, but... Hi. Over here, I'm not going to go too in depth because this is one of the rooms that just isn't done. This is our one of our guest one bedrooms. of our two guest bedrooms. So this is we just have the bedroom in here for now. I'm waiting for the furniture to come in and then I'm going to decorate it. And this room also probably can get painted as well. Down here next door, I have our actual guest bedroom, which is just beyond stunning. I love it. This is my style. 
this is Mickey style. Mickey wanted farmhouse. I was like, okay, girl, we'll give you one room. I know, so I, <laughs> we'll give you one room, girl. <laughs> so I helped with the decorations. So we decorated this room, and actually, this was the day we moved in. We went and bought all this decor. The lamps look weird on the camera. The camera doesn't do it justice because the lamps look kind of weird. But this room, we literally went to, I think, Kirkland's and Target, and we got all the furniture and all the decor for this room, and we set it up the first night we moved in. So this room's been done since the day we moved in, but I'm absolutely in love with it. And I have an essential oil diffuser over there, so it always smells like lemons, and I have a little lemon tree. It smells like lemons, it smells clean, it smells fresh. And this bed over here, girl, is one of the comfiest beds in the entire world. I'm just obsessed with it. But this is our guest bedroom, and... Yeah, when y'all come to visit, this is where you'll sleep. Directly across the hall is our master bedroom. And again, this room isn't done yet either, but we just kept it simple. This room serves definitely more function than style, and that's kind of how all my rooms have been. I like them feeling comfy. I don't like doing a ton of throw pillows because I just end up throwing them off. And to be honest, who has time to make their bed every day? So I just keep this really simple with just the blankets that we sleep with and the pillows that we sleep with. We have a little lamp on each side of our nightstands, along with an essential oil diffuser. These just relax me. I put eucalyptus in here. And then our chargers. But really, we keep our room very simple, clean. Over here, we have the nicest TV in the house. This is a 65-inch TV from Samsung, I believe. And this is everything. It's like literally a movie theater because this is so big and you're kind of close to it. And we have this beautiful dresser I got from Z Gallery along with the nightstands. And this room is just super minimal, super clean. I love it. Even though it may not be the prettiest, it serves function and it's all I can ask for in a bedroom. But I do plan on getting some throw pillows and zhuzhing it up a little bit. In here is the saddest master bedroom closet ever. It, it's nothing special, it's literally a closet. There's some organization over here, we just throw our shoes. And this actually isn't organized at all. And I need to do the laundry as you can see, but this is just our clothes. It's not the horrible because it does fit all of our clothes in here, but it's just tiny. Over here is our master bathroom along with it, Mickey and I kind of hate it. It's just really small for one person. Only one person can really be doing anything in here. But we have our little vanity. We have our shower. But it is really nice to have a bathroom right off of the bedroom where we can just brush our teeth and shower and stuff. But it is annoying when sharing a bathroom with Mickey and we're both trying to do our skincare at night and only one of us can do it on time. So that's our bathroom. Mm -hmm. So this is our backyard. Nothing special. I haven't done anything with it yet, but I'm just going to show it to you anyway really quick. So basically, here's our backyard. We have this little dining table that was left here. Then we have our hot tub, which is my little favorite part of the house because it is so nice and relaxing to get in every night. Mickey and I get in every night. And then we have these little rope lighting things around the whole backyard. Heater and TV. And so at night, we'll just turn these on, watch a movie, kick back and relax in the hot tub. It's so nice. And this yard is... Something in my eye. Oh my god, do you ever wear false lashes and eye makeup and just get something in your freaking eye? No. We'll do any of you because, uh, <laughs> worse ever. We have a pear and apple and a lemon tree. Pear, apple, lemon. Pear, apple, and lemon. Are those roses? Backyard. If you watched our last video, you got a little mini tour. That's our backyard. I plan on adding some furniture out here in the summer and doing a little bit of gardening, and she's gonna be really cute. And these are my babies. Hi, babies. Two of them. Hi. This is Bonnie and Clyde, and you know Maddie and Tom that we haven't named yet. Priscilla. But no, her name's not Priscilla. <laughs> Let's step back inside, and I'm going to show you the basement. So this is our garage door. This is where we enter, and right across from our formal family room is the basement. Yes! Okay, so the basement isn't done even a little bit, but this is what we have so far. We have this ginormous sectional like me i'm five seven and this is how big the fucking sectional is it's over here we have our little fridge but we also are building an entire kitchen down here bar area for a snack bar and just stuff but i do have the fridge fully stocked i know you want to see the fridge tour down here so come on over and this is mickey's drink fridge mickey is in love with drinks and he just loves having soda and things on tap so I have this fridge fully stocked with a ton of drinks at all times. Really nice <laughs> for when guests come over because we're watching a movie. We don't have to run all the way upstairs to get a drink. And there's pretty much any drink you could want possible. We have the doctor. We got everything. We got Mr. Sprite. We're the we cool have, grandparents. We have Gator. Some Gatorade. Gatorade. Some so LaCroix. 
some LaCroix. It's called LaCroix. Down here is our snack bar, and this is gonna be moved over to the kitchen when that's built. But for now, we just have all of our snacks down here. We have tons of snacks, popcorn, Oreos, popcorn machine, little popcorn bowls. These are so cute. I got them from Crate and Barrel. And we just have a ton of little snacks. Maybe let me show you. See behind that, we have even more candy. Look, there's more candy back there. We literally have every snack you could possibly want down here. Popcorn chips, ice cream, whatever you want. Here it is. Now down here is our ginormous TV with this beautiful hutch. I don't know how to decorate her yet, but I'm working on it. She's gonna get decorated soon. But yeah, we'll just chill here and watch TV. This is like our most unfinished part is we haven't really touched the basement at all, but we're gonna definitely show you in the updated house tour video. We're gonna do a whole movie room theme. We're gonna do curtains on the side. We're gonna build that kitchen. We're gonna do, it's gonna be sickening. This whole basement is pretty much not done at all. We still have a lot of work to do with it, but once it is done, I will for sure show you in the updated house tour video. But this basement, Mickey and I and all of our friends, we just hang out here watching movies. We're zero snacks. friends. Yeah, we don't have friends, but we it's still do. Us. Sit down here, eat snacks, and just hang out, and it really is so much fun. Down here we have our linen closet. I have extra bedding and stuff in here. Nothing special to show you, but it is super organized, just like everything else. It's huge. Else. So here it is. I wish this was our master closet. <laughs> here we have a fireplace, just old furniture here, and this J and M to represent. Me and Jake stands for Jake, and then the M. I don't know what the M should stand for. Maybe Maddie. Jake and Maddie. <laughs> the M stayed up because the M is strong and the J is weak. But the J and M just represent Jake and Maddie. I'm just kidding, Jake and Mickey. <laughs> Here we're gonna have our home gym. She's not done at all. Actually, she's just storage. For this now. is gonna be my gym. We have all this furniture. Once I have the to coin to make it. Yeah. We just have a bunch of furniture and stuff that we have that's down there that we need to get rid of. Here's our laundry room. You don't need to see her. There's a ton of laundry that needs to be done. Here we have our basement bathroom. This is actually the nicest bathroom in the house. And it sucks because it's all the way down here in the basement and no one uses it. But it's just got this and it's got this and it's got this shower. But it's a bathroom, y'all. She's cute and she's nice. Well, you know what I'll probably use it is after when I work out at the gym. Yeah. I can just come in here and, and shower. Yeah, it's a gym basement bathroom whatever you want to call it, so you don't have to run all the way upstairs to the bathroom, but still. In here, we have our puppy room. We are trying to potty train four dogs right now. I know we're literally crazy, but this is where all their toys live, their beds, their crates, everything, all their food. So let me show you this. This is literally hotel for dogs. Hi. So in here, we have a big giant dog bed. We have all their crates. All of them can hang out. All of them just sit in here. Over here, we have their food and water. We actually, they're all in separate diets, so this doesn't get used very much, but we have their water, and it says if you feed them, they will come. They will come. Yeah, and here we have, in this closet, I have all my dog supplies and just extra storage, but it is really nice to have all four puppies being able to just hang out down here, and if they have an accident, it's hardwood floors, we can clean it up. But this is where they all live. This room is also going to become my office when we do get them all potty trained, because we don't really need any of this stuff once they are potty trained. And they're toys. Yeah, Before. all of Maddie's toys. Look at Matt. This one's Maddie's favorite toy. Actually, never mind, apparently. Maddie! Look what it is! It's your favorite toy! See, she loves that toy. So this is our dog room. This is where our dogs live. Now, in here, this is where I live. This is my beauty studio, which is so ugly, but at the same time, so beautiful at the same time. But with studios, they're all just kind of so, come on in. Here is the makeup collection. I literally just look at this and I'm just like, wow. I love my life every time I look at it. Up here, I have some extra camera equipment. I got my wigs, honey. Over here, extra backdrops back here. Extra just camera equipment here. For now, this is my little office area. I just have my desk and computer. Over here is where the magic happens, y'all. This is my beauty studio. I have all this lighting. I finally got a big ass dining table for this room, so I have so much room to just beat my face. And yeah, this is my beauty room. And I think that completes this house tour. Oh my God. I'm so happy to finally get this off my chest and just show you all where I've been living. So back away, girl. <laughs> Thank you all so much for stopping by my house. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below to my channel. I post videos every single week. And also be sure to sound off in the comments below what you think of my house. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you think I should add anything else? 
Let me know if YouTube reinstates my comments because hello girl, apparently they just decided, oh, I'm gonna delete, I'm gonna disable all your comments and there's nothing you can do about it. So YouTube, email me, please help me get that fixed. But thank you all so much for stopping by my house and I will see you in the next one. But y'all gotta go. Y'all kind of, come on. Y'all gotta go. You've overstayed your look. I'm just kidding. But seriously. Bye guys. This is my dream, Mickey. Don't ruin this for me. Okay.